Hey there, this is Chetan and welcome to CRNT Designers. Here you can see two different models. And here you can observe in the first model, I have got the good shading without good topology. And in the second model, I have got the good shading with the good topology. And in this Blender tutorial, I am going to explain why these two different aspects are important in different modeling workflow or modeling situations. So without further ado, let's get started. To start the modeling, you need to add the rounded cube and operator preset should be called sphere and go with the basic settings, don't change anything at there. Then you need to add the cylinder and give the vertex count 12 at there. Then scale down that cylinder and give the right position to it. And then you can select this words, rightly connect vertex path. Then select that edge and add a bevel on that edge. Add one segment bevel at there. Then just select these words and then connect them. Then you can select these words and move them along the Y axis. And just take the symmetry along the Y axis. So you will get this kind of form at there. Now we have these two different objects. Just adjust the scale of the second object. Then select both the objects and use the boolean operation union. Then apply the modifier and delete the cutter object. And then you need to create a right topology at there. After that just you need to select the words and then merge them in this way. So you will get the right topology at there. Try to create a good topology. Then just adjust the position of the words a little bit and try to get the curved surface at there. And now you can see I'm getting n gone at there. I'm not getting the right topology at there. That's fine. Then just add the subd modifier and then shade smooth it. And then you can select this edge loop and then control B add bevel on it. Add one segment bevel and increase the shape factor up to one. So you will get this kind of supportive loop cuts at there. You can see I'm getting pretty good shading at there. You can check from the mat cap view also. The shading is really good. But topology, the topology is not so good. Now I will create similar kind of model. So just I need to add the rounded cube and then I need to add the cylinder. And this time I need to give the vertex count for this cylinder is 16. Uh, first we have added the 12 word cylinder and now we are going to add the 16 word cylinder. Then repeat the same steps. When you will start to create the topology to maintain that form and that time you will notice that you are getting the right topology without doing anything. But you did one important thing at the beginning and that is using the right vertex count for your cylinder. That's why you change the game. That's why you are getting different results. And now you can see you are getting the right loop structure at there on the model. And you are getting the smooth shading on the model. Definitely you will get the smooth shading if you have the right loop structure on the model. This is like a beginning stage of your modeling. At the beginning stage you got it that I need to change the vertex count for the model. But if this is not the beginning stage of your modeling means you have done too much work on the model. You have added more details on the model. At that stage you are not going to think about the repeating your steps or repeating or remodeling anything. In that scenario, you can keep some engons on your model. You need to think about just your design and getting the right smooth shading. You don't need to think too much about the topology because the final result is important. You can compare these two different models. On the one model, I'm getting good shading without good topology. And on the second model, I'm getting good shading with the good topology. So these two different things are important in your modeling workflow according to your different situations. So that's why the vertex count is important in your modeling workflow as well as the topology is important as well as the shading is important and everything is depend on the situation. You need to know this thing in your modeling process. Otherwise you are going to spend too much time to achieve the right topology and right design as well as the right shading. You should be able to give the right priority to different things. So it will make your workflow easy. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then please hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye bye. See you next video. Take care.